ICVs are wireless equipped and enabled automobiles that connect to other cars, pedestrians, infrastructures, cloud servers, and just about anything else. A term referred to as V2X, or Vehicles to Everything. Intelligent connected vehicles are fitted with a myriad of automotive wireless systems. This includes radios, cellular communications, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GNSS, to name a few. In a typical ICV, there could be no less than 15 different antenna types integrated into the vehicle. More importantly, they must operate properly in a coexisting manner with each other, and automotive engineers are challenged with not only the design aspect of such vehicles, but also the enormous task of testing them. One of the most challenging aspects of the wireless test is MIMO OTA testing of an ICV's terrestrial cellular 4G and 5G communication system. MIMO OTA stands for Multiple Input, Multiple Output Over the Air. It's the methodology utilized to coordinate the use of multiple radio antennas to increase the reliability and data capacity of an overall wireless network. The objective of MIMO OTA automotive testing is to characterize the performance and robustness of the vehicles under real-world conditions, but simulated in a test environment with infrastructure, technical expertise, and sophisticated instruments. But testing is not as straightforward as it sounds, as there are many challenges. Too many to list. We've identified four that are known to be major sources for issues. They include how to improve the conventional spherical wave expansion method to handle the new issue of testing car antennas, how to cope with the invention of probe antennas with low cross-polarization ratio and high beam symmetry across a wide band, how to perform EIRP and EIS tests in the near field range, and how to develop methodologies to rebuild a real-world transmission channel in an anechoic chamber. The graphic on the bottom right depicts OTA measurements being performed on a car on a standard test platform. However, for the measurements to be reliable, the antenna needs to provide sufficient coverage, and this is something that's sometimes overlooked by even the most experienced of test engineers. There are four levels of OTA testing. The first is the passive antenna pattern test. Then comes the SISO test. The third is the MIMO test with different channel models. And last is the DSENSE test, which qualifies how automotive receivers are affected by noise and interference. Toyo Corporation, in partnership with General Test, has engineered fully turnkey systems that can characterize the OTA performance and robustness of intelligent, connected vehicles in a lab environment and help ensure that they function and operate in the real world in predictable and intended manners. The slide system is a gantry mounted with a moving probe. This is a fast and accurate system that executes antenna performance and SISO OTA tests. The arm system provides four mechanical arms, and in standby mode, the arms can be retracted back into the corners of the chamber. This system is designated for the MIMO and DSENSE tests. We also offer a mobile robot system for customers who own an existing automotive EMC chamber and would like to upgrade it to support OTA testing in addition to EMC testing. The robot can be easily removed from the chamber at the conclusion of OTA testing to allow for separate EMC and OTA testing. A few of the systems feature a patented radiated two-stage test technique unique to Toyo. This technique provides significant advantages over multi-probe solutions, including small space requirements and testing simplicity. Our systems are also future-proof, allowing for upgrades as technology and standards evolve. Would you like to learn more? Please contact us to speak to a technical expert to learn if these solutions are the right ones for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.